Hi, welcome to this webcast demo of Microsoft 365 Business. Today, small and mid-sized businesses face a whole host of technology challenges, like keeping your technology current, dealing with a mobile workforce, and protecting company data due to cybersecurity threats. In this webcast demo, we're really excited to show you how Microsoft 365 Business can help you securely run and grow your business. So, what is Microsoft 365 Business? Microsoft 365 Business is a complete, integrated solution that helps you securely run and grow your business by bringing it together the best-in-class productivity of Office 365 and sophisticated security and device management tools. With Microsoft 365 Business, you can get more done together, where you and your employees can be more productive and work better together with Office apps, email, cloud storage, and a hub for teamwork. It helps you build your business, where you can get apps designed to help you focus on your business by engaging and attracting customers and simplifying processes. It safeguards your business because it comes with built-in tools that help you manage access to your data, keep your data safe, and keep your business compliant and protected against threats. And all of these features are simplified for you where you can easily set it up and manage your devices and data. With Microsoft 365 Business, you have one subscription that powers teamwork, helps you grow, and gives you peace of mind, letting you focus on the most important work so you can achieve more every day. Now, before we begin, let me just remind you of what we're going to cover today in this webcast. You're going to learn how you can get more done with intelligent tools built into Office that you'll love along with enterprise-grade email and file storage. We'll show you how you can work better together with the new Microsoft Teams and how you can collaborate as a group with your coworkers, customers, and suppliers. Microsoft 365 Business also includes specific apps designed to help you grow your company, like Bookings and Outlook Customer Manager, for example. These help you get more customers and improve the efficiencies of your business operations. We'll also show you how Microsoft 365 Business helps you safeguard your data by helping protect your company against external threats like phishing and malicious emails. It also includes features to help you protect sensitive information, like social security numbers and credit card information from leaving the organization. Finally, we'll show you how you can easily enable all of these features, along with simplifying device setup so you can unlock the value of your subscription. Before we head into the demo, let's take a deeper dive into what you get with your subscription. Let's unpack what we mean by get more done. With Microsoft 365 Business, you get enterprise-grade email, file storage for documents, a hub for teamwork, and the Office apps all working together so you can increase your productivity and grow your business with confidence. In Microsoft 365 Business, you get the latest Office apps that you love and are familiar with, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and more. More importantly, you get new features like intelligent recommendation tools. For example, Designer in PowerPoint that can automatically recommend slide designs based on your content without you having to actually create the slide. It helps you create your best work like a pro, saving you precious time and effort. You can also get work done on the go with enterprise-grade email and calendaring features in Outlook. You get a 50 gigabyte mailbox and don't have to worry about running out of space in your mailbox. You can also stay on top of your work with access to your files, with online file storage, and OneDrive for business. You get one terabyte of file storage and you can share your files from anywhere, on any device, whether at work, at home, or on the go. With Microsoft 365 Business, you can work better together through the power of Microsoft Teams. We'll go into more detail on this in the demo. But Microsoft Teams is a hub for teamwork that brings together all your team's chats, meetings, files, and apps, making it easier for you to collaborate and keep track of group projects involving your coworkers, customers, and suppliers. With state-of-the-art co-authoring capabilities, you can share and access your documents in real time with your team from anywhere and any device. You can even host online meetings in Teams to get work done in real time. With one click, 
Anyone, inside or outside your company, can join your online meeting. You can even record meetings and use the whiteboard to draw out ideas and work together to solve challenges. In Microsoft 365 Business, we have specific apps designed to help you build your business. For example, you can track customer interactions and grow relationships with Outlook Customer Manager. You can get customer details, history, and track deals and progress within Outlook. Apps like Bookings help you simplify the process of scheduling and managing customer appointments. It has convenient web-based scheduling that allows your customers to self-schedule appointments with you. Furthermore, apps like Planner make it easy for your team to create new project plans, organize tasks, and get updates on the progress. Apart from enabling all of these amazing productivity and collaboration features, Microsoft 365 Business gives you peace of mind by safeguarding your business. It helps you protect your company against external threats and protect your sensitive business information from leaking outside your company. It does this by taking a layered approach to security. First, you get protection from sophisticated threats hidden in email attachment and links, and get cutting-edge defenses against security threats, ransomware, and other advanced malware attempts. Second, you get protection from data leaks, helping you prevent sensitive information like social security numbers and customer credit card numbers from being shared outside your business. Third, you get to control and manage access to information. With Microsoft 365 Business, you can control who has access to company information by applying restrictions like do not forward or by encrypting it. You can enjoy peace of mind by remotely wiping business data on lost or stolen devices without affecting personal information. It is easy to look at all these features and wonder how complex it would be to enable these functionalities. In Microsoft 365 Business, we have made it easy to set up and manage your users, devices, and data, giving you time back. We'll show you more in the demo, but you can easily set policies quickly, onboard a new PC, or refresh an existing PC with automatic Windows 10 setup and configuration, helping you get value of your Microsoft 365 business subscription faster. I know we're talking a lot about Microsoft 365 business. Let's head to the demo so you can see it in action. So let's begin a day in the life of Megan, our business owner. Megan begins her day like anybody else, in her email. Here you see Outlook's rich, immersive interface, in Outlook, you get enterprise-grade email features like a focus view of the inbox that prioritizes your important emails so that you can focus on emails that deserve your attention and respond faster without being bogged down by clutter. You even get a 50 gigabyte mailbox in Microsoft 365 Business, so you don't have to work with the constraints of a small mailbox and delete important email. As Megan is scrolling down her email, she needs to start triaging her email. One of the ways Outlook helps you is by giving you tools to triage emails on the go. For example, here she sees an email from Alex, possibly a customer. That is something she needs to respond to sooner. With a simple right click, she can take a number of actions right on the email. By flagging it, it gets automatically added to her task list, so she can get to it later. She also sees an email from Diego, her legal chief. From this email, it seems like he wants to chat in person about an impending product launch soon. Again, Outlook gives Megan a whole host of options of responding. Megan can reply. She can forward it. But another interesting way that she can respond to is by reply all with a meeting. Outlook automatically sets Megan up for the meeting with Diego by finding a common time that's convenient to both of them. Usually, the pain in scheduling is you have to manually look for a common time that is convenient to all the parties. Outlook comes to the rescue by taking the guesswork out of that for you and saving you a lot of time. By automatically doing that for you, an effort, it helps you triage your actions faster. Now, all Megan has to do is click send, and she's done with setting up a meeting with Diego on an important topic. Next, she checks her calendar in order to see what her schedule looks like. As you can see, her calendar is easily accessible from her mailbox. The calendaring features in Outlook also has a host of intelligence features. For example, it gives you the weather. At a quick glance, you can know what the weather in your area looks like. 
Outlook not only helps you give a consolidated view of your calendar, it also gives you consolidated view of other calendars. So, for example, Megan is tracking a product launch that her team is working on. By overlaying her product launch team calendar in her existing calendar, she gets a consolidated view of what her team is up to, so she can keep track of what her team is working on. After checking her calendar, the next thing she does, like most people, is look at her to-do list. Today, she needs to work on three important things, one of which is an investor proposal that requires her to create a deck. The other thing is to coordinate launch activities for a product launch, which involves a design review. So. Let's get to her investor proposal. This is Megan's investor proposal deck. As a business owner, Megan does not have the time to build out a fancy slide deck, and yet she knows that in order to wow investors, her deck has to look professional. Here is where the latest PowerPoint's intelligent services come to the rescue. PowerPoint has intelligent services built in that automatically recommend slide option based on the slide content. Here, for example, PowerPoint has recognized that this is a cover slide and has automatically given Megan good options of different cover slides. This seems to work well. Next, it seems to recognize that this is an agenda slide and has automatically given appropriate options based on formatting and content. As you can see, within minutes, Megan is starting to build a very professional slide deck. Here, you see a slide that has both content and an image and PowerPoint has immediately made the image the focus of the slide. In this slide, PowerPoint recognizes timelines and milestones automatically and creates a slide chronologically, which is great. As you can see, PowerPoint's intelligent services, especially design ideas, has saved Megan a lot of time and effort and has left her with a really professional looking deck that she can now share with her team in order to work on it together. And with that, Megan is all done. She then heads to her OneDrive for Business, which is the repository for all of her documents. Here, she can store her private files and share files with colleagues and suppliers. She knows that her deck needs input from her team, and so she can even share this deck with her teammate, Lydia, so Lydia can work on it together. Just by finding Lydia in the address book and clicking Send, this document is now shared with Lydia, where Lydia can work on it with her. Within a couple of clicks, Lydia gets access and can begin editing the deck. Microsoft 365 Business includes powerful co-authoring capabilities that lets you simultaneously co-author with colleagues, suppliers, and even customers. Here you see Lydia editing the deck along with Megan. Now that Lydia is working on the deck that Megan created, Megan then heads to the Teams to keep track of a product launch that her team is working on. Microsoft Teams is ideal for when you're working in a group Typically, when you're working in a group, you have trouble keeping track of all the various email threads and documents. It gets hard to track this over email, and also the documents are scattered. Here, you see Megan has created a team that acts as a central repository of all of the launch activities. So each member in a team has a single workplace to go to, access, and view content. For example, she can go in and see what her design team has been up to in the design channel. Thanks to the persistent chat feature of Microsoft Teams, Megan can quickly come up to speed of what her design team has been collaborating on. This persistent chat feature is also useful if a new member joined the design team. They could easily come in and have access to past conversations. As you can see, Teams enables a free flow of conversation where the design team can collaborate and trade ideas in a single persistent chat. Teams is also perfect for lighthearted banter with its support for gifts and stickers. Another great feature of Teams is that all members in the team also can access their files in a single place, which saves time and enables collaboration. This is a great benefit because usually, even if you collaborate as a group, the documents are scattered in different places over different email attachments. This consolidates all of the documents that the team is working on in a single place and different members of the team can co-author and be sync with respect to their documents. This consolidates all of the documents that the team is working on in a single place, and different members of the team can co-author and be synced with respect to their documents. You can easily add and integrate other apps in a team to make your workflow richer. For example, you can add the OneNote application to insert notes to the channel. If you'd like to take a poll or do a survey, you can insert forms. 
you can also insert a whole host of other third-party apps. The design team, in this instance, has added the OneNote app to take note of all of their design reviews that have happened. Here, Megan can go and review the notes of the design review meeting that happened on April 19th, and here she sees that the next review is on the 27th, which reminds her that she needs to set up this design review. You can even schedule online meetings and conferences in Teams with a single click. Megan can now schedule her design review easily within Microsoft Teams. One benefit of Microsoft Teams is that she can quickly choose to have the design review with the design team with a single click without having to add in multiple email addresses of all the members of the design team. She could also invite people who are outside the design team. For example, Diego. And just like that, Teams has found a convenient time for everybody to meet without Megan having to go through the hassle of looking for convenient times between all the members of the design team. And just like that, it has saved her a lot of time, and she can easily schedule this meeting. Once the meeting is created, it automatically sends a meeting link so all the attendees have a conference bridge that they can click on to attend. No need to remember any conference ID or anything. Just a click will get you in. Teams also includes one-on-one -on -one chat features. Here, you can see, Megan can privately chat with Lydia on matters. With the chat functionality in Teams, you cannot just chat, but you can also elevate the conversation easily into a phone call, if that's easier. As you can see with Teams, you have a single hub that brings together people, groups, and content. You can chat, access files, and even get on calls. Teams is a great application that enhances and simplifies your collaboration needs. Megan is a business owner after all. Once she's done reviewing the launch activities with her team, she definitely needs to get to reviewing her customer appointments. And here, she looks to the Booking app for help. The Booking app, available in Microsoft 365 Business, helps Megan see what customer appointments she has for weeks. Here, we see a typical booking page that businesses can set up, that their customers can see, and self-schedule appointments. Microsoft Booking simplifies how customers book and manage appointments with your business. You can easily create and publish this online bookings page, where customers can schedule time for services at your business 24-7. For example, your customers can choose your services, select the date and time, and even choose the staff that they would like to schedule an appointment with. Once they are done adding their details, they can simply click Book, and this appointment is automatically added to the staff's calendar. All bookings made from the online page are recorded on the staff calendar, and updates are sent to both customers and staff. Another tool in Microsoft 365 Business that helps you build stronger relationships with customers is the new Outlook Customer Manager application. Outlook Customer Manager helps track emails, meetings, calls, files, notes, and deals in progress from one place right within Outlook that comes to a particular customer. What's more, business contacts, companies, deals, and tasks can be shared with your team members as well as customer manager. Given that Megan is dealing with so much sensitive information, like product design plans and customer information, security is critical to her as her intellectual property gives her an edge in the market. That's why she's constantly wary of phishing schemes and suspicious emails by hackers that are looking to get into her system. But even though Megan is diligent, it is hard for even a trained eye to monitor every email attachment and link. This is where Microsoft 365 Business comes to the rescue. Here we have an email that seems like it is coming from her travel agent, Katie. It seems like a normal mail with a link embedded in it. With advanced threat protection built into Microsoft 365 Business, every link and every attachment is scanned and checked. When you click on a suspicious link, you are prevented from accessing a suspicious website. The service checks on your behalf instead of Megan having to manually check every link every time. It's not just external threats that Megan needs to be concerned with. It is important to prevent sensitive information from leaking outside of her business. That's why Microsoft 365 Business has data loss prevention capabilities that help check for sensitive content, like social security numbers or credit card information, automatically for you. Here, we have Megan trying to send a mail with some sensitive information to book travel for a work conference. 
she's going to attach a document that is sensitive content, like credit card information and bank routing numbers. As you can see, Outlook has immediately given her a policy tip that she's sending this content to someone outside the organization. As soon as she's uploaded it, the system immediately provides a policy tip at the top as a warning that she cannot share this externally with someone else. It also gives her options to learn more about what sensitive information that she's sharing. This policy will prevent her from sending it to this person externally. Data loss prevention capabilities not only live in Outlook, but they extend across Microsoft 365 Business to OneDrive as well. For example, here is the same credit card authorization form that Megan was trying to send Katie, and Megan tries to share this with Katie from her OneDrive. Once again, she gets a policy tip and a warning that this document contains sensitive information and it cannot be shared with people outside the organization. Both these are examples of ways Microsoft 365 Business helps you prevent sensitive information from being shared outside your organization unsecurely. However, we do understand that there are times when you do want to share sensitive information with external parties. For example, here. Megan has to send her credit card authorization to her travel agent to book travel. Here's where Microsoft's information protection capabilities come in handy. With the Protect feature, Megan can automatically put policies in place. Like, for example, Do Not Forward, which restricts recipients from forwarding, printing, or copying content. So when Katie receives this email, she's unable to forward this to anybody, print it, or even copy the content. You have a lot of other permissions that you can put on this email that are very powerful. For example, encrypt. Megan can send this entire email in an encrypted format. So when the recipient receives it, they have to take certain steps in order to decrypt it and read it. Encryption is a very strong protection on an email to ensure that it is securely transmitted. Here, we see Katie has received Megan's encrypted email. As you can see, in order to read the email, Katie has to take certain steps in order to access this email. Only after signing in her credentials does Katie have access to view this content. Katie cannot forward this or copy it or print it because it is an encrypted format. Such user-initiated information protection features again shows you the enterprise-grade security features built into Microsoft 365 Business. Let's switch to a mobile device to show you how Microsoft 365 Business productivity and security transcends across devices. Here's Megan's view of her business on her device. She can quickly access her work apps. It has her email, her files, and she can even contact her teams. She's able to respond on the go with Outlook, OneDrive, and the Teams app. We'd like to show you how the security features in Microsoft 365 Business also extends to protecting your information on mobile devices. For instance, Megan checks into her OneDrive app to access her files and is immediately asked for a PIN password. This is a security feature of Microsoft 365 Business to prevent unauthorized access at the app level in case a device is unlocked or is in the wrong hands. After Megan puts her PIN and enters her access, there are other security features that restrict her ability to copy or save a document to an unauthorized app. The other security feature is that it restricts her ability to copy or save documents to an unauthorized app. For example, here we see the saved credit card authorization document that we were talking about. If she wanted to save this document with credit card numbers to a non-Microsoft 365 business app, the system prevents her from doing so. If Megan tried to cut, copy, and paste to the iOS Notes app, it prevents her from doing so. She can also go into email and try to send it from her non-work email and pasting this content. Again, the system prevents her from pasting sensitive content. This is how robust Microsoft 365 Business's information protection is. Your information is secure on the go. As you can see, Microsoft 365 Business safeguards your business information by protecting your business from external threats, by preventing sensitive information from being shared out insecurely, 
and also helps you set information protection policies for securely transmitting sensitive content. Seeing all these amazing features, you might be wondering whether this is easy to set up, and we really simplify setup with our single management console here in Microsoft 365 Business. Here, you can see how easy it is to enable all of the policies that you just saw on the mobile device. They can all be enabled or disabled with just a toggle button here. You have different policies that you can enable. You can delete work files from an inactive device, and you can set how many days you want to delete, whether you want to delete content after an employee leaves after 30 days or 90 days, you can specify the time. You can force users to save all their work files to OneDrive for Business, which is what we showed you when Megan tried to save it to her personal location. It did not allow her to do that. And you can encrypt all work files, so even if you lose them, you don't have to worry about your sensitive information being in other people's hands. Here, you can see how easily you can enable toggles for managing access on mobile devices. You can toggle on or off whether you need PIN or fingerprint access to the Office apps. You can also deny access to work files on jailbroken or rooted devices. And Microsoft has made it really easy for you with just on and off toggle buttons in order to get you going on this. And of course, that amazing feature you saw that prevented Megan from copying content onto personal apps was also easily enabled through a toggle button. It's not just your Office documents on mobile devices. We've also simplified Windows device management with our setup here. Again, you can enable security policies, such as protecting your PCs from viruses with Windows Defender. This helps you enable Windows Defender on, so your users cannot turn it off on their Windows devices. You can enable settings, such as preventing users from downloading apps from the Microsoft Store, if you don't want them to download Solitaire, for example. If you don't want to see advertisements or tips from Microsoft, you can also disable that using the toggle button. As you can see, we've made enabling policy and management in Windows devices fairly easy with our setup process. You can also enable new devices to automatically install Office with the toggle button as well. As you can see with all that we've showed you, Microsoft 365 Business is a single subscription that provides you with collaboration, security, and easy device management. Now, you could try to enable some of these capabilities by purchasing third-party services separately, but those would be expensive and not to mention the integration would be clunky to non-existent. Microsoft 365 Business costs $20 per user month, and the integration of features are seamless, giving your users a delightful experience. To conclude, let's just recap what we covered. You saw how you can get more done with intelligent tools built into the office you love, along with enterprise-grade email and file storage. We showed how you can work better together with the new Microsoft Teams and how you can collaborate as a group with your coworkers, customers, and suppliers. We showed you specific business apps designed to help grow the business, like Bookings and Outlook Customer Manager. We also showed how Microsoft 365 Business safeguards your data by helping protect your company against external threats like phishing and malicious emails. We demonstrated features to help you protect sensitive information like social security numbers and credit card information from leaving the organization. Finally, we showed you how you can easily enable all of these features along with simplifying device setup so you can unlock the value of your Microsoft 365 Business subscription faster. Thank you for attending this webcast. We hope it has helped you learn more about what Microsoft 365 Business can do for your business. If you'd like to speak to a representative on purchasing options or learn more, please visit aka.ms forward slash smbm365. Thank you.